in victory lane with Joey Logano. Grandfather clock behind you, that thing's yours. What's it like to finally get a win in Martinsville? Man, it's, we've been so close so many times. Every time I come here, I watch maybe the most aggravating replay I've ever seen in my life to be able to replace that with a, a great replay of seeing our shell pens going forward across the fire finish line first, finally. Total team effort today. Pit crew was unstoppable. Got us out front every single time we gained spots. We're going to Miami. We're going to race for a championship now, and uh, we got a couple weeks to think about it. Tell me about those last, you know, <laughs> four or five laps outside of Truex, slid back. Was that a move to, to set him up in the final corner, or that's just how it worked out? I just wasn't fast enough <laughs> to hold him off. You know, I was doing all I can to, to stay in front of him, and uh, we, were, we were bumping and banging and, and rubbing each other, and it's NASCAR racing. That's what built our sport, is is uh, hard racing like that. And wasn't gonna crash him, didn't want to do that at all, but was here to, 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 to win the race. I know you didn't wreck him, but he's still pretty ticked. He wanted to win this race, too. He said you won the battle, you hadn't won the war. I mean, where do you go from here? Do you just keep it out of your mind and just worry about you? I, I, I get the frustration. I can't say that if I was in his shoes, I'd feel any different than he does. We had some hard racing, had some contact. Joey's got the clock. He's racing for a championship.